Welcome back to Skyrim. If you go back and look at the previous episode, you will, at the end of the previous episode, you'll see that uh, things look quite a bit different. Quite a bit different, and the reason for that is that uh, I'm in the process of rebuilding all of my mods, and I haven't uh, reinstalled all of the visual mods yet. The reason I'm reinstalling uh, all of my mods is because I went ahead and I let Steam update my Skyrim to the Anniversary Edition and I'm going through and reapplying all of my mods that work with the Anniversary Edition. So it's it's a long process. I spent, good lord, I don't know, six hours yesterday working on it. Uh, but that's after going down a wrong path and then having to start all over again. But uh, anyway, that's why things look different at the beginning of this episode compared to the last episode. So hopefully I've got uh, things working here well enough for us to continue. Continue what you say. Well, we are doing this quest called Old Friends. Neloth is being attacked by an unknown assailant. I discovered the source of the attacks was a heartstone hidden in Ildari Serathril's grave. Neloth has divined that his former apprentice is still alive and seeking vengeance on him. Neloth asked me to track down and kill Ildari. Okay, that's what we're doing. So we're in this uh, place here called uh, High Point Tower. And we kind of walked over here in the last episode, and we were getting ready to go this way. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. We're traveling with our good friend, Talvis. So there's something moving around in here. There's a hammer on the ground. Nasty a frost cloaked spider. I thought that was an albino spider, but it was a frost cloaked spider. Oh, gross. Let me take care of those things from here. Got one of them. Jumping frost spider, it said. Got all kinds of new stuff showing in here. Hey, get out of here. Ah, oh, diggity dog on it. How far does this go? Steel battle axe. We have some iron boots down here. We've got a coin purse. May as well take that. Oh, what do we have here? Emerald geode. Yes, please. I like emeralds. Cool. So, I mean... This obviously doesn't look bad, you know, this is kind of default textures and graphics in the game, Anniversary Edition. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but I really do like the extra punch that the mods that I will end up installing give it. Uh, it really makes, really overhauls the lighting, I feel like. That's why I do it. I've also installed all kinds of, um, you know, bug fix mods. Fix all kinds of bugs, supposedly. Um, you know, I installed a uh, good old Sky UI that gives me this. Gotta put value and weight back there. Okay, well, there wasn't really a whole lot back there. I'm not even sure why we walked back there. I mean, big deal. It was just a couple of dumb jumping spiders. Nothing exciting, in my opinion. Okay, now what? Let's look at the map and see where the heck we're going. Um, looks like we could go this way. Looks like we could go this way. And I think this is where we came from. So let's go this way that we're facing right here. Oh, hey, look, it's an ash spawn. Oh, whoops. There. Cast my little buddy and shoot some fire at him at the same time. I thought I really need to. Okay, why? Whoa. <laughs> so he's got some kind of spell that blows people away. Like with wind. He doesn't like where this is going. Well. You know, 
Tough luck, pal. Ooh, an ash pile to search. Ebony and spawn ash, which is worth quite a bit, so we will go ahead. Oh, now what's going on behind me here? What the? What's going on back there? Was he just fighting the Wrath Man? I'm not sure what happened there. Oh, oh, one of those nasty things. These things are the worst. There. Shut that thing up. Excuse me, excuse me, gentlemen. Hey, uh, Talvis? Could use your help in here, buddy. Talvis! What the hell, dude? Oh, there's another one now. Uh, Talvis? I really don't want to die to this guy, you know? That's just not really what I'm into. A bunch of them here. What do you think? Oh. About time you showed up. I'll leave that stuff behind. It's not worth enough to pick up. Okay, well, just another room that we have to enter and fight bad guys, you know? Just, uh... Just, just the regular. Get some light in here and see if we're missing anything. An anvil there. Elk pelt. Ooh, here we go. Here's a goblet. Get out of the way, Elk Pelt. Do you mind? Elk Pelt's like, take me, take me. Sorry, Elk Pelt. I'm not interested. Uh, Goblet's not really worth all that much. The Strong Box, on the other hand, has an Amethyst, Flawless Sapphire, some gold, and a Silver Ruby Ring. There's a lot of stuff right there that I almost missed had I not turned on the lights. Hello. Who are you? Over here. We've got nothing. trucking. Let's have five it. Good idea to do that every once in a while, right? I mean, not just in case I die, but also because I'm kind of in the middle of reinstalling mods. Who knows what's going to break or not load or whatever. Uh, there's a rune in the middle of the ground there. I think that's what that's called. Oh, neat. Huh. Not really sure what set that off. Is there a tripwire here that I didn't see? Is there a pressure plate that I didn't see? Oh, there's a tripwire right there. Interesting place for a tripwire. Instead of right across the door, they put a little inside the room. Hey, I want these. Even though they're not filled, I'm taking them. Disturbing room over here. We've got fire. So let me ask you this question: uh, We've got candlelight, right? And candlelight costs fifteen, right? So that means if I just use one hand to cast it, it will cost me fifteen. But if I use two hands, it costs me thirty, as you can see in the lower left-hand corner there. Now I'm going to use thirty. Does that? What does that do? Does that make it last longer? Does it make it brighter? What does it do? Two-handing candlelight. I don't. I mean, I could look it up maybe, but you guys probably know off the top of your head. Oh, sucker! <laughs> Can't believe you fell for that. <laughs> um. Yeah. So anyway, what good does two-fisting candlelight do? What does that buy us? I would like to know. Is that another rune on the wall? How does that work? Is it just to distract me? Or if I get close to it? How close? Do I have to touch the wall? I don't have answers to these questions. That's why I'm asking them. Uh, we've got... Oh, did I miss something this way? What's this? 
Well, let's stay here, since that looks like it's going to take us to where we want to go. This is looking like a bit of work here. Ooh. The House of Troubles. Oh, one thing I have not installed yet is my mod that tells me what books I've read. So I don't know whether I've read The House of Troubles or not. And to tell you the truth, it doesn't sound familiar to me. Hey, dude. What do you need? Pick that up, will you? Just pick it up, okay. just so that I can look at it later. Okay. And now, um... Anything else? What do you need? Go over there. Okay. I want to see it. if that rune's gonna... No? Nothing? Okay. Got it. All right. Anything else? No, that's all. Ooh, I was hoping for this. Ildari's Journal, Volume 2. So I guess he's going to stay there now until I tell him to follow me again. Kaz. We heading out? Yeah, follow me, dude. Let's get going. I mean, is this here just for looks? Because, I mean, it's very, very cool looking, but does it do anything? I'll sacrifice myself. <laughs> yeah, sure enough, you have to touch it. Okay. This is how you learn. This is how you learn. Sometimes learning is painful. Ildari's Journal, Volume 2. I am stronger now. The heartstone kept me alive after Neloth's butchery. I can feel the bones and the ash calling to me. I can call back to them too. With the heartstone, I can bind the spirits to bone and ash and raise a servant to do my bidding. Tonight I will seize control. These miners and fortune seekers are pawns of Neloth. I can feel them staring at me. I'm sure they are sending him messages reporting on my every move. The only ones I can trust are the voices. They've never lied to me. They've shown me that these fools plan to betray me just like Neloth. When they are all asleep, I will raise my ash spawn. Their brute of a leader will die first. I can see the lust in his heart. He may act all kind and generous, but I know what he wants, what they all want. They want the Heartstone. I'll keep a few prisoners. I need test subjects for my experiments. There is more that the Heartstone can do. I just need to try out a few ideas. Oh, golly. Somebody's gone a little crazy. Uh, do I want to bother to unlock that? Doesn't look like there's anything in there. I mean, it doesn't look like there's anything in there. And... What? There's a Klingon in here. Come on, she looked like a Klingon. Naya. Help! Please, help me! Help! Please help me. Unlock the door. Hurry. Please, you gotta get me out of here before she comes back. She won't come back, don't worry. Yes. <laughs> yes, may how may I help you? Uh yeah, I'd like a order of uh yes. fish and chips to go, please. Huh? I don't know why I thought of fish and chips, maybe I'm hungry. I don't really eat fried foods anymore because of reasons and now I don't get to eat fish and chips like I used to, and I'm very sad. And sometimes I'm like, why even go on living if I can't eat fried foods? <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I am sad that I can't eat fried foods. Um, let's see here. We've got stuff here. I mean, I eat fried foods occasionally now. I used to eat them quite frequently, especially like french fries, but uh, not anymore. Uh, let's see here. We're going to go down this way. So uh, I left her there. I, I left her there um, because I'm afraid that if I let her out, she's going to get killed. And um, I want to go, I want to clear the rest of this place out and then let her out and see if that keeps her alive. It's just, uh, I don't know. I, I don't want to have to babysit her, basically, is what I'm trying to say here. Oh, this is getting interesting. Where's this taking us? Golly, man. What was this? <laughs> Look at this. How did I miss that? I'm worried that I'm going to end up getting to the destination before I've explored the whole place, but, uh, we'll see. The, I tell you what, this place is a lot bigger and a lot more intricate than I was thinking. Oh, orichalcum. I just left some orichalcum ore sitting on the floor back in another room, so why am I mi mining this? That looks interesting down there. Oh, boy. What are we doing here? Excuse me. 
Yeah. Just plop down and it's fine. Won't hurt. Look at this place. Pretty neat. Okay, is this... I don't know. We'll see what happens here. We'll just stay the course. Uh, here we've got Orichalcum. Which, I mean, if I need Orichalcum for anything, I'll just buy it from a smith. I'm loaded, remember? Gold. Now, Sapphire, on the other hand, I think that's worth the trouble. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, not that you use Sapphire for anything other than to sell. What's up here? Let's go see. Got a little table here. More Sapphire. Let's get it. Something moving in there. Big room. Oh, it's going to be one of those shocky things. A couple of those shocky things that I can't even get to because they're up on a on pedestals. This could be uh, trouble in here. Could be trouble to the point where I think that I'm going to go ahead and equip my shock resist stuff. I'm going to put on my shock resist necklace and gold ring. Let's do that because it could get hairy in here. It could. This guy doesn't have much to say. You've gone far enough. Oh crap, I now found her. Is a fool to think he could send some low life to finish me off. Uh-huh. Well, um I have stumbled right upon the destination here. Uh we'll go back and explore this later, don't you worry. What is she What is she conjuring here? By the nine. By the nine. I better get out my buddy. Good swing, dude. You got a good healthy swing. What is this? An Ash Guardian? Take out these lackeys here. Okay, uh, there's a couple of them behind me. That's funny, I put on, um, I put on my shock resist things, uh, but it's looking like I should have my fire resist things on, right? A lot of fire being thrown around in here. Okay, he's down. Uh, there's another one behind me here somewhere. Unless it's Neloth herself. Nope. Oh, is it? Oh, not Neloth. Um, what's her name? Oh, gosh. Get up the ramp, dude. I'm gonna see if I can take her on. Uh, oh, this is Telvis! <laughs> Telvis! Well, why was he showing up as an enemy? Is he shooting fire at me, or am I just in the way? I think I'm just in the way. Why won't you die? Yeah, probably because you're casting fire spells with a fire enemy. Ouch. Ash Guardian, he's, he's, uh... We'll go down here in a minute. Oh, oh, guard that. Guard that, Ash Guardian. Oh, empty. Oh, interesting. Okay, he has nothing to offer. Uh, over here, we'll go ahead and help ourselves to... Um, sure, I'll take Quicksilver up. Or, I don't know. Don't ask me. I just, uh... The spur of the moment kind of guy. What can I say? Well, where did Ildari go? I kept accidentally calling her Nell off, but you know what I meant. An amethyst? Malachite? Sure. Gold? Sure. Rock Warbler Egg. Another Rock Warbler Egg. Why are those here? Why, I mean, when the designer was making this place, why were they like, you know, I think we need to put some Rock Warbler Eggs in here. I mean, it's a cave. And, uh, you know, they're Rock Warblers. They, um, they nest in caves. Uh, crud. Um, I'm just curious if I could pick this up. I cannot. 
Okay, let's see. Um, anything back here before we go up? Or is this, uh... No? Oh, good grief. This place is large. This place is large and confusing. Oh, she's moved. She's over here now. I, I like that we have some kind of tracking system. So we can keep tabs on her. Bunch of nastiness in here. <laughs> you go stand in the corner, Talvis. Bunch of supplies here. Wedding wreath. This is, um, these must have been the people that, um, that were like treasure seeking here that Ildari used for her experiments and these are their personal effects right? This is some cool looking boots okay that was indeed a dead end now we're gonna go up in here. Potion of prolonged invisibility. Could be useful. Another egg. I feel like there's something else in there. Not sure what I'm seeing. But I can't quite get to it, so oh well, whatever. Elk pelts. Have a neat place, huh? I think it is. It's pretty cool. Ooh. Let's get some light in here so we can really enjoy this. We've got a petty soul gem. Soul gem fragments really aren't worth picking up, in my opinion. Change my mind. Bunch of ingredients. I'd rather take already crafted potions rather than pick up ingredients. I mean, fire salts are worth a bit. Over here, Alchemy Lab. Ildari's Journal, Volume 3. These warrens are well suited to me. I can plot my vengeance, vengeance undisturbed. I've created many ash spawn and summoned Atronax to do my bidding. Yet, I know it isn't enough. Neloth is a wily old wizard. I need more power. I'm out of test subjects, except for Nia. I saved her for last. She pretended to be my friend when I first came here, but now I know the truth. The voices have told me all about her lies and betrayal. She works with Neloth to bring me down. I've saved a special experiment just for her. It will take quite a while to complete. I can't attack Neloth directly, he's too powerful, but I can make his life uncomfortable. I've killed his steward. I've withered his home. Maybe I should poison his precious tea. I'll need a more capable servant for that. The ash spawns are too clumsy for such delicate work. Hmm. Is she going to turn Naya into a s servant somehow? To poison Neloth? I don't know. Now I'm worried about Naya. I left her back there in that cage thinking she'd be safe there because I thought I would find Ildari and just kill her, right? But, uh, yeah, now she's kind of run off. And, uh, yeah, I'm a little worried, um... I don't remember where, um, actually I do remember where Naya's cage is. Naya's cage is right here. So I would freak out if I saw Ildari like standing right here. She's over here. Hopefully Naya is still okay. Because I'd like to try to keep her alive. You know, seems like a nice thing to do. And I'm, a, I'm a pretty nice guy. You know, I like to, I like to try to keep people alive. What can I say? This is 
is actually really neat. Very cool place. Oh. Let's look at the map and see where we are. Okay, so we've... Okay, so we're, in, we're exploring this whole area anyway, so I feel like I actually kind of like the way I've approached this. Stumbled upon a nice way to check out the whole area. All right, let's see what's up above here. Oh, check this guy out. Let's get our uh, buddy out here, because we may have some trouble. Do a plunge attack. Ooh. Ash spawn the skirmisher. Okay, anybody else? Anyone? Are we good? Everybody good? Alright. Pardon me, excuse me. Part excuse gentlemen, excuse excuse me. Okay, never mind. So I guess my cutoff for keeping things is like if it's worth 25 or more. 25 volume to weight ratio. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm just picking stuff up. Or not. Okay. Ooh, man. That was, oh boy, I would have missed out on that. That's a lot of good, delicious stuff right there. Come on, get up there. Get your butt up there, buddy. I just want to see if there's anything up here that's worth uh, looking at. Oh, there's a little strong box up here. Circlet of Alteration. Flawless Sapphire, some gold. Okay, that was some pretty cool stuff. I don't think I see anything else. Oh! I pressed the jump button dock on it. Um, let's see here. Come on. Now oh, that's good. We, I think I found what we needed to find up there. And there's like a little path here that we could use to get up there anyway, kind of. Alright. Oh. Crossroads here. Okay, we can head back this way, and we'll just go right back into where we just were. Or we can continue forward. I'm gonna continue forward and take a left here if I can and check on Naya. Might not be able to, that we might get attacked. Oh! Oh! What the hell? That's interesting. Is it. Is it usable? in the world? Is that just for looks? Can I extend that bridge over here? Huh, I don't know. If we look in that direction... Hmm. But I want to go here. Which is actually down there. Hmm. Do I jump down? Because if I jump down... If I jump down there, it's going to a little bit of work to get back up here. I mean, we'll have to go all the way back through this, I feel like. Well, I'm just going to trust that Naya's okay. Okay. So, there she is. Ildori. What you doing? What you doing, Ildi? You mind if I call you Ildi? Oh, she's got one of those shocky things up there. Couple of, oh, those are fire things. Okay, I'm prepared for that. Coming for you. Oh, how do I get up there? I thought there would be some stairs here, but I don't see any. How do I get up there? Interesting. Oh, I'm a-coming for you. Oh, crap. She does have... Oh, jeez. She does have shoggy shock, and it's pretty potent. So we're gonna switch over to shock resist stuff. I'm gonna take me a potion. Or two. Um... I wouldn't mind some help here. Okay, I 
I press. Why is this? Get up out of here. She's turned on me now. Just wailing on her, man. Down she goes. Rip heart out. <laughs> okay. No. Oh my god. I'll take that. I mean, this is so messed up. I mean, it's not her fault. Neloth is the one who did it to her. Gosh. That is messed up, yo. What do you got? Anything good? A stupid dagger and a staff? Lame. Okay. But I do want to go back down there because there may be some stuff to check out down there. Oh, man. Uh, take the Petty Soul Gem. Too bad none of these are filled. Oh, where'd this Petty Soul Gem go? What the heck? Where'd it go? Okay, she's got a little place here where she's got a little plate of food underneath her bed there. She just likes to have a little bit of cheese before bed. Man, I wish these still gems were filled. Let's see, what do we got over here? We've got, um... Diamond just lying on the ground. Oh, a fox pelt. Uh, we got a garnet. Potion, potion. Big old chest. An another unfilled gem. Eh, ain't bothering with that. Um, yeah. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you, sir. Talvis, what do you think about all this? Still here. Okay. Lead on. Well, like I said, I wanted to go back down here. There's that soul gem. What do we got? We got a uh, coin purse, little ring. Helmet, some boots in there, maybe. A leg of goat. Oh, no thanks. Not really in the mood for leg of goat. Hmm, some firewood here. Fire salts. Anything under the elk pelt doesn't look like it. Another arcane enchanter. Another empty soul gem. But I had enough of this business. Okay, it looks like um, that's all there is to see down here except for this. Counting of the scrolls. Okay, well, let's go back up, I guess, and see what was opened up when I pulled that lever. And we will go back and check on Naya. Don't you worry. Matron Act just standing over there, just minding his own business. Um... That's gonna take us out of here. Let's go. Let's go look. I'm not gonna go out though. Let's go look. What the? Okay. All right. That'll let us out of here. So we're gonna go back to Naya and see if we can't um, free her. I sure hope she's still alive. I mean, it's very possible that. Ildari stopped by and finished her off, but uh, I, I think it would be more plausible that uh, she would have turned her into something and um, we would have had to fight her. 
but that didn't happen. So she's probably still here in this cell. I sure hope... Oh, good. She's awake. Okay, good. Whew. Okay. I was going to say, I sure hope she's just sleeping. Hey. How's it going? Help. Please, help me. Okay, I will. I said I would, and I will. Thank you for rescuing me. That witch was going to kill me soon. I just know it. Actually, she was. Um, <laughs> what can you tell me about Ild Ildari? We were digging in these mines when she found us. She was hurt so bad, we took pity on her and nursed her back to health. Mm. She repaid our kindness by attacking us in the middle of the night. Ah, jeez. Those of us that didn't die were made prisoners. What did she do with the prisoners? Horrible things. Experiments. And worse. I'm the last one. The others are all dead now. If you find her, don't make her end quick. Where will you go now? First, I'm going to leave this place as fast as I can. Then I'm going to get on the first boat to the mainland. Good luck to you. Well, good luck to you. It's really nice meeting you. Need something? Oh, I was just wondering, like, maybe if you were free for dinner? Oh, gosh. <laughs> High school all over again. All right. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get out of here. Let's follow her. Let's see how she gets out. Damn, she's fast. <laughs> Are you kidding me? She ran into a rock and died. What? 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 Are you kidding me? She ran into a rock and died? What? No. No. And where's Talvis? What the? What is going on? Did he run into a rock and die too? What on earth? <laughs> she runs. She sprains her ankle and dies. Boy, she was in bad shape. All right, where was my last save? I'm gonna go ahead and just do a save now, and then I'm gonna load my last. I'm gonna load my last quick save. Where was it? I hope it was after I killed Aldari, but I think it wasn't. It wasn't. You know, she wasn't that hard to kill. We need to um, keep Naya alive. <laughs> I mean, come on, what, what, what happened? That's a fluke. That was a fluke. Flukety fluke. Slow there. Little slow. Little slow on the draw there. It's gonna be worth it. I promise. It's gonna be worth it. Uh, let's see here. Switch back to shock resist. Attention to him. Yeah, pay attention to him. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> Rathman still beating on her. Stand down, Rathman. Stand down. <laughs> that was great. Uh, one thing I didn't do was read the text here. Neloth's former apprentice, Ildari Serathril was covertly attacking him. Deep under High Point Tower, I confronted Ildari and killed her. That's what happened. You saw it. You saw it. Okay, switch back to... There we go. Thank you. Uh, let's pick some stuff up. Do, 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 do. Ooh, Garnet, Emerald. Oh, that stuff was on the ground last time. Uh, and the chest with some cool stuff in it, but really not that cool. Okay, um, and then let's see, there was a soul gem here, and there was a soul gem here, and I don't think there was anything interesting over here except for maybe this unfilled greater soul gem. 
wheat. I mean, I mean, whatever. Okay. And let's see, I wanted to go down here and make sure we didn't leave anything down here, although I don't know if there was anything too terribly interesting down here, right? I don't think there was. Coin purse, little silver ring. There's some kind of engraving on it. Maybe we could return it to its owner, but the owner's probably dead. Okay. So yeah, she was she's a pushover, man. Easy peasy. Oh, <laughs> I didn't pull the lever. Wait a minute. Oh, no. And then that's the way out. So we will go back this way. And see if we can't rescue Naya. What the heck, man? I mean, what the heck? It's a boulder. This boulder right here, which unfortunately... Look at this. Look, it hurts me too. All right, can I get this boulder out of the way? You know what? I better F5 it. I mean, some fluke could happen and this could kill me. I'm gonna try to clear the path for her. There, that's out of the way. The problem is there's like a bunch of other boulders in here that um, she'll... I mean, if one boulder will kill her, wouldn't another? That's cool that we could move them, though. I can't pick them up, but I can kind of kick them around with my feet. Uh, I don't know for sure which path she's going to take. But... I mean, that, that looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. This looks pretty clear. If she just runs straight ahead, she should be fine. <laughs> I still can't believe that killed her. Okay. F5. Oh, gosh. Look at this right outside of her freaking cell. That's messed up, yo. Hello? Need something? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Am I bothering you? Is this an inconvenience for you? Yes. <laughs> Man, that one was like, I'm out of here. Fuck, pick. Okay, here we go. Thank you for rescuing me. That witch was gonna kill me soon. I just know it. What you call her? We were digging in these mines when she found us. She was hurt so bad. We took pity on her and nursed her back to health. She repaid our kindness by attacking us in the middle of the night. Those of us that didn't die were made prisoners. I mean, she she was obviously sick. Horrible things. Experiments. And worse. I'm the last one. The others are all dead now. If you find her, don't make her end quick. First, I'm going to leave this place as fast as I can. Then I'm going to get on the first boat to the mainland. Good luck to you. You want to watch out for boulders. Huh? Uh, boulders, trust me. Alright, I have fived it again. Okay, let's go. <laughs> just, let's just go. I don't know where Talvis is. I, I guess he's confused because I jumped off of a couple of ledges. He's trying to work his way back here. Alright, let's see here. <laughs> Alright, straight ahead. Straight ahead. There you go. Good job. Good job. Keep going. Doing a great job. Yes. There you go. All right. Nicely done. Watch out for spiders. Oh, 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 oh man. Rib cage. Got a little worried there. Oh no, she's stuck on the steps. <laughs> okay, you can do it. Come on. Come on. 
Come on, you can do it. There you go. Give her just give her a little push. Come on. Come on. You're almost there. Come on. Oh, oh come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. <laughs> She's looking at me like, what are you doing? Come on. Push her over to the side a little bit. There you go. Come on. Come on, Naya. I believe in you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, this is going to be so satisfying when I finally get her out of here. Come on. Can I do like a, um, a, a teeny tiny unrelenting force on her? <laughs> oh, talk on Naya. Come on. Huh? What? Yes. Yeah, come on. I mean, she still has to go up these stairs, too. Oh, my gosh. There's a way out. I kind of want to go back and go out that other way, though, just to see where it takes us. And if we get her out of here, that's what I'm going to do. Ah, jeez. She... <sighs> Let's face it, she lives here now. She just lives here now. I mean, if I exit this place, she'll... She'll get out of here on her own, right? Right? <laughs> Let's see what happens. Oh! <laughs> oh, for a minute there, I thought it worked. I thought it worked for a minute. Oh, I can't do it again, dog on it. I can't, uh, unrelenting force yet. Well, I guess, I guess this is her home now. You know, I mean, I hope she likes it. She's going to get some good exercise, though. Oh! Don't walk here. Walk around me. Take the outside path. Oh, come on! Oh, she's an enemy now. Look. Oh. Oh. She got her dukes up. <laughs> she's going to run away from me. <laughs> no, no, run that way. Highly overrated. What was highly overrated? Oh man, I didn't catch that. Come on, you can do it. Oh, you can do it. Come on. Boom. It's interesting that it pushes her backwards. Hey, she made it. There she goes. I feel like I'm trying to coax a bird out of my chimney. Get out of here. Go. <laughs> She's going to go the other No, don't go back. No, 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 no. No, no, don't go this way. Death is highly overrated. Death is highly overrated, she says. All right. Well, I'm going to go back to before I made her an enemy, and she could figure out how to get out of here herself. <laughs> I mean, give me a break. All right, you're on your own, Naya. As far as I'm concerned, I saved her. She's, She's on her own now. And Talvis, who knows where he is. So, um, like I said, I wanted to, kind of wanted to go back to that other exit just to see what it's like, you know? Um, just see where it takes us, because it's going to take us to the top of the tower. I think that might be kind of neat. So let's see if we can't get back there. And maybe we'll find Talvis. I don't know. Okay. I actually want to be up there, but we have to take this way around, I think. Yeah. So she, she was to the right. This is, this is going to be so worth it. Stamina be gone. This is a really neat place, though. I really like this place. It's very cool. Very cool.
What was that? Oh, maybe I kicked a rock or something. Hey, hey, look who it is. Good buddy Talvis. What's up, my man? I guess that's just for looks there. Oh my gosh, I almost missed that lesser soul gem. This I told you was going to be worth it. See where this takes us. <laughs> it took us right back to the starting. It took us right back. Right back to where Neloth is. And there she is. <laughs> oh, not Neloth, damn it. Naya. Come on, give me a break. Their names are similar. Come on. Need something? Yeah, I need you to get your butt out of here. Come on. <laughs> Alright, you're on your own, lady. I tried. I tried. You are my witness. Back to Solstheim. Okay. Outside we are. Look what this place looks like. Um, vanilla. Look at this. It, it definitely looks ashen, doesn't it? It looks so covered in ash. Which is very cool, actually. Oh, there she goes! Yay! She's She made it! Oh my gosh, I'm elated! She made it! Oh, that's so wonderful. Now, the problem is, is that... If I follow her, that means she's going to interact with the game world and she'll probably end up dead. So I should probably just let her go. Because I don't think the game's going to kill her. Like if I, if, you know, if I'm not here, she'll be fine, I think. But if I follow her, that means that she could come across Ash Spawn or Reavers or whatever. So we'll just let her go. We will call that a successful rescue. And we'll call this a successful episode as well um, I'm sorry there's not going to be any reading at the end of this episode it is lunchtime. I've already mentioned food a couple of times in this episode so I'm going to go have some food it won't be fish and chips though it won't be fish and chips well thank you guys so much for joining me on this episode I hope you enjoyed it if you did maybe let me know leave me a like or a comment if you're not a subscriber why not subscribe click the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post videos Thank you so much for joining me on this episode. I sure hope you join me again in the next one.